Hey everyone! So as we all might know, lice and mites are very common problems which most guinea pigs experience at some point in their life. Usually when you first bring them home from a pet shop or a breeder. So in this video I'm going to focus on guinea pig lice. Now there is a difference between lice and mites and I will be doing a separate video on mites including the mange mites which are the most dangerous ones. So if you suspect that your guinea pig might have either lice or mites and the description that I'm going to give for lice <laughs> doesn't fit then um, please go and watch my other video. So lice, they're often known as running lice. Lice cause itching which can lead to scabbing if the guinea pig breaks the skin because basically what lice do is they bite the surface of the skin and they get the fluid which is then what they feed on. So obviously like head lice in humans they're irritating the surface of the skin and then going to make the animal scratch themselves. So luckily for us lice are very easily recognisable as squirming white blobs which are large enough to be seen by the eye. When you're looking for them look next to the skin because that's where they're going to be, that's where their food is. So I'll probably I'll do it on Sprite because she'll let me won't you? So if you just part the, part the fur right down to the skin then that is where you're most likely to see them. Of course it could be mites or something else that you can't see so easily so if you suspect anything then it's best to take your guinea pigs to the vets. The lice cannot live without their host for extended periods of time and this means that they won't come in on any bedding or hay that you buy from the shops. They are passed on directly from one pig to another or indirectly if people touch an infected guinea pig and then touch a clean one and they might pass on some lice or eggs on their hands. So this means that the only time guinea pigs are really going to have lice is when they're brought home from a place where they could be in contact with other infected guinea pigs which is surprisingly common because most pet shops and even breeders don't bother to treat lice but they do need treating because if your guinea pig keeps scratching itself it'll end up breaking the skin and causing scabs and sores which then can are uh, vulnerable to get infected by bacteria so it is very important that you do treat lice if your guinea pig has them the best way to treat them is ivermectin which is a drug you can get from the vet or you can buy it online as well. Um, other products you can buy will probably get rid of the parasites but they can and often do contain other ingredients which are toxic to guinea pigs so you've got to be very careful and do your research when you're going to think about buying a product and treating the guinea pigs yourself. For new owners I would always say go to the vet or join forums and ask people for advice, that kind of thing, if you really don't want to go to the vet. An example of one of those products that I was just mentioned is Advantage. So it used to be okay for piggies, and it still says so on Guinea Links actually, and quite a lot of other websites. However, I've been looking on the forums and there have been some updates about the company, which is called Bayer, changing the formula for Advantage to contain chemicals unsuitable for guinea pigs because it was never meant for guinea pigs in the first place anyway it was just to treat general parasites because of that advantage is no longer recommended for treating guinea pig lice or mites unless you get the original one but that might have changed as well I'm not too sure I've never actually bought advantage myself so I, it's best not to bother really with that product I think um, I'm just going to list some other products and some other ingredients that you might find in them that should be avoided here. So hopefully that could be a bit helpful for you. If anyone follows me on Facebook, I just actually reposted someone's story about their guinea pigs reacting to one of those drugs in Xenax, ultra spot on, and the drug is permethrin. And this can basically make guinea pigs and rabbits hypersensitive to everything, so they act unnatural and very disturbed. And there are also stories on forums where guinea pigs or rabbits 
have died after being given a dose of permethrin containing products such as this Zenac. Now products with permethrin in can be bought at shops and are advertised for guinea pigs and rabbits and other small rodents so please look out for this ingredient, really they shouldn't be in the shop if they can have these sorts of effects. As I was saying before, ivermectin should be used to treat lice. Ivermectin can be dangerous and it can cause neurological problems if too much is used. So again, you need to know the right dosage or it's best to take your guinea pig to an experienced vet. And also if your guinea pigs are new, you've just brought them home say, you might want to take them to the vet anyway just to make sure there's no other problems with them because they might have lice but they also might have a uh, fungal infections or something like that which the you too which the vet can um, hopefully recognize so one of the common products that your vets might use to treat lice is Zen Zeno 450 which is this one here although this does sound very similar to the Zenex it doesn't contain the permethrin drug it just has the ivermectin so it's not dangerous for them. So inside the box it has these which are little individual kind of pipette things and you just basically snap the top off and drip the product on behind the guinea pig's head like so. Annie you're such a good model. If you didn't want to use any of the products like this um, another more natural treatment is the Gorgeous Guinea Pigs Lice and Easy Shampoo. And Gorgeous Guineas are a company that use all natural products and they don't use any kind of harsh chemicals or anything. So you're pretty much guaranteed that there's not going to be any side effects with your guinea pigs. Although they do always say to test it out beforehand in a, on a small area. And if you use this, um, you give your guinea pigs a bath three times or so, I think a week or so apart. So if you take them to the vet, your vet might choose to inject the ivermectin in. In, into the guinea pigs which will work for lice even though some sources st stay that it, say that it won't because the lice don't suck blood as such hey they just bite the surface of the skin um, but I know from my own experience that an injected course of ivermectin will kill off lice nowadays vets um, are most likely to use the kind of spot on products instead though are you all sleepy now? When, when you treat um, your guinea pigs for lice you do need to treat all the pigs in the cage because obviously they're passing it on directly from one piggy to another and um, they'll just get it again if you only treat one pig. Um, I would also think about washing any fleeces or beds or things like that just to be on the safe side because I don't know about how long eggs can last in the environment without a host. I think so that's all I have to say for this video. Again, I'll just show you the products. And I know it can be alarming when you hear about these products that are at, that are on the market containing ingredients which are dangerous for guinea pigs, but it is extremely common. So I hope this helped, and if you're a new owner, good luck with your new piggies. <laughs> and um, whether you take them to the vet or whether you buy the stuff yourself, I hope it all works out for you. And please let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. So thank you for watching, goodbye! <laughs> They're all being stroppy now.